Hi guys, Wendy here. Today we're going to be taking a little break from all the usual cuteness. We're going to be drawing the impossible triangle and so I hope you guys will think this is a really cool optical illusion. So let's get started. Since there's going to be some shading that's going to be required to draw this um, optical illusion, I'm going to be using a pencil to show you how to draw it and make it a little bit easier. So the first step you want to do is to just draw a straight line. So I'm going to be drawing pretty small just to make it a little bit easier. So say about right here, I'm just going to be drawing a straight line. That's it. So I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for you guys to draw this. So just we're going to take it step by step without doing all those complicated measurements. So basically just draw a straight line and then from there you're going to be drawing an angle down. So this is going to kind of determine the shape of your triangle. So don't worry too much about this angle just as long as it's not too steep. Just a nice angle like this. And however far you bring this angle is going to determine how thick your um, triangle is going to be. So I'm going to go about like say right there. Just make this a little bit darker so hopefully you can see it. And then I'm going to come down again with a straight line. So I'm just following this line. I'm going to come down. And so this is my end. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this line over. So as if I was drawing a triangle. So I'm just going to bring another angle over. And so where I'm going to stop right here is I'm going to make this right here about the same as, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to make this as thick as this one. So that's my goal right here. So I'm going to stop about right there. So it's about this thick as well. So that's why I stopped right here. So about the same thickness. And then from there, we're not going to end this because we have, we're not sure where we're going to end up yet. So let's just leave this open. And so from there, after you've drawn this shape, let's come back up here and we're going to continue this angle that you've drawn. So just continue it as if it was just going through. And don't worry too much about it. And then right here, you're going to be drawing another line right here that's going to match the same angle as this. And so you want to go about the same thickness again. So about right here, you're going to be drawing this line and you're going to connect it to make a triangle. Like that. And so then from there, you've drawn this shape right here now. Make the lines a little bit thicker. And then, so then from there, you want to come back up here over on this side and we're going to draw another straight line. But before we do that, let's angle this one right here. So we're going to angle and follow this same angle. And we want to once again go about the same thickness as this. And then we're going to bring it up. So it's another straight line. As straight as you can. <laughs> And then we're going to go all the way up a little bit more because we're going to be bringing a line down this way now and we're going to go up as high as we need to go to make it about the same thickness again. So we're just going to be drawing another line down. And so then we're going to continue this over here to meet this line now. So there. And so then from there, what we're going to do now is to come over here and draw another angle line. So this is basically matching this same angle. And once again, it's going to be about the same thickness and just bring this line down. So I'm going to turn this a little bit because it's kind of hard for me to draw this angle without turning the paper. So I'm going to turn this a little bit. This is a longer line. So I'm just going to keep going. So these lines are always a little bit tricky. Just turn the paper as you need to to make it easier for you to draw your straight lines. So then from there, I'm going to go over. Once again, this line is going to meet up with this. So I'm just going to keep going on this until it meets. There. So now they've met. <laughs> and now I can finish up this bottom line right here. 
keep going and then right here it's going to be straight down once again oops my triangle went off the page <laughs> almost so there that's basically it so first i'm just going to go over really quick this first straight line cross down bring this down and so basically you just want to try to make all these um, thicknesses the same and then just connect them and once again turn the paper if you need to to make it easier for you to draw your angles okay so then from there what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, use my sharpie right here just to thicken it up to darken the lines So there, basically I just went in and outlined it with my Sharpie and you can always make your lines a bit straighter um, once you um, use the Sharpie to fix it. So once again, all these angles are gonna follow each other. Notice these are all at the same angle. And these ones going this way are all at the same angle. So that's your goal. So then from there, now that you've outlined it, you don't have to outline it, but I just did that so that you can see a little bit better. You come in here with your pencil and and come in here with my pencil and basically I'm going to be shading this little section right here the darkest so I'm going to come here and just shade this part in really dark So there, like that. And then you can come in here, just right here where it's gonna be under that illusion. You can make it a little bit darker if you want, but you don't have to. So I'm just gonna make this part a little bit here darker, like that. And then this piece right here, you're gonna make it, you're gonna shade it in, but it's just gonna be light, a light shade. So just lift up your pencil a little bit more, go very lightly over it. Hopefully you can see it on the camera. And let's see, just a tiny bit more. So there, and then right here in this corner right here, you can just make it a tiny bit darker just to give it a little bit more pop if you want it. And that's it. <laughs> I know there's a lot of tutorials out there for this impossible triangle, um, but hopefully the way I did it right here really makes it a lot easier for you guys to follow and uh, something to do when you're bored and <laughs> doodle it. And so I'm just gonna turn this around so you can kind of see how cool this optical illusion is. Right? Awesome. Oh, need to go all the way around, I forgot. <laughs> okay, so ah, before I get dizzy, so there. <laughs> Hope you guys love this optical illusion and let me know in the comments below if you want to see a lot more. Please give me a thumbs up and share it and remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.